Hi everyone, it's Narelle here. There's a bug occurring in Design Space 3 at the moment with uploaded SVG files and what's happening is that there are extra lines being placed into those files that shouldn't be there. Now it appears that it might be extra nodes that are being picked up by Design Space 3 yet they weren't um, being picked up by Design Space 2 so we're not exactly sure what's going on there. Hopefully Cricut will get that sorted out soon um, but in the meantime I wanted to show you that you can still cut those files or from my experience the ones that I've tried I've been able to do that. So what I'm going to do is show you what we need to do. I'm going to click on the upload button and I've already uploaded this image and it's this one here and it's a file from Dreaming Tree. Now I've got lots of Dreaming Tree um, files and this is the only one that I've had that that's actually had this problem occur. So again it's by no means all SVGs just the odd one here and there. So I'm going to click on that and you can see that um, there is nothing wrong with this file everything is as it should be but when I click on insert images you can see that there's these extra lines here that shouldn't be there. I'm going to show you what this is, looks like if I went to try and cut that now. So I need to attach those score lines to the base first and then I'll go up to make it. And there you can see that those are the extra lines that are going to be cut that we don't actually want and your project's going to be ruined if you let it go ahead. So let's get out of there and I'm going to detach that again so we can go and fix that problem. Now the first thing I need to do is ungroup this because we're going to be using the contour or the hide contour feature and you can't do that on a grouped image. So I will go up to ungroup and now my two layers have been separated and I need to work out which layer those extra lines reside on. Now to do that I'm going to click on that base layer there and I'm going to hide that layer there and you can see that those lines are still there so that means that they actually are on the scoring layer and that's where we need to do our work. So I'll leave that base layer hidden I'm going to select this layer here and then click the contour button. So my image will show up on the screen here and then I'll scroll down here and you can see those lines right there. Now, As I move my mouse over them you can see that they're, t they're going darker and that means that those lines can be hidden. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to make that line fade out which means it's now been hidden and it won't cut. The line's still there but it's not going to be cut. So now I'm going to get out of this window. To do that I can either click in the box uh, in the X in the top right corner or I can just go back and click on my canvas. So now you can see on the this layer here that those extra lines are now not there because I've hidden them. So now I'm going to go back. I'll show that layer again and now I can go and have a look and see what it looks like in the cutting screen. So before I do that I'm going to select those. I can go ahead and regroup these if I want and that's useful because that means if I need to move this around on the screen anywhere both layers are going to come at the same time and I'm not going to be leaving the scoring layer behind or the base layer behind if I click on one or the other. So I'll group those and then I need to go down here and with both of them still selected I need to click attach and that now makes my score lines stay in the position that they should and attach themselves to the base layer. So let's go and have a look and see what it looks like on the cutting screen and there we are. So those extra lines are now gone which means this is going to cut correctly. So hopefully that's helpful. As I said it's not all files just the, the odd one here and there um, and now you know how to fix that so you can keep on crafting. So again hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you again next time.